Welcome to our third set of pharmacy practice questions. This pharmacy quiz covers questions on types of pharmacy. These are multiple choice questions consisting of question stems, correct answer, and distractors. Read the questions carefully. Try to answer the questions without looking at the options and compare your answer with the options. The correct answer and its explanation will be displayed at the end of each question. You can also refer to the video that we have already uploaded on this topic. We wish you good luck. Let's begin. Question 1. Which of the following statement is true for community pharmacy? Option A. It is a retail pharmacy where a pharmacist provides services to the community where it is located. Option B. In a community pharmacy, the pharmacist helps the community about the proper use of medicine by counseling them about the safe and effective use of medicine. Option C. Both options A and B. Option D. None of the above options. The correct answer is option C. Community pharmacy is a retail pharmacy where a pharmacist provides services to the community where it is located. In a community pharmacy, the pharmacist helps the community about the proper use of medicine by counseling them about the safe and effective use of medicine. Question 2. Which of the following are the roles of community pharmacist? Option A. Provision of services to the community where it is located. Option B. Helps the community about the proper use of medicine. Option C. Counseling the community about the safe and effective use of medicine. Option D. All of the above options. The correct answer is option D. A community pharmacist provides services to the community where it is located. In a community pharmacy, the pharmacist helps the community about the proper use of medicine by counseling them about the safe and effective use of medicine. Question 3. Which of the following type of pharmacy is present in a hospital? Option A. Hospital pharmacy. Option B. Compounding pharmacy. Option C, both options A and B, option D, none of the above options. The correct answer is, option C. Hospital pharmacy is the pharmacy that is present in a hospital region. Compounding pharmacy can be present in a hospital in addition to clinical or residential based setting, depending on the purpose of their formulation. Question 4. Which of the following type of pharmacy provides services to the inpatients and outpatients of a hospital? Option A. Compounding pharmacy. Option B. Hospital pharmacy. Option C. Ambulatory care pharmacy. Option D. Regulatory pharmacy. The correct answer is, option B. Hospital pharmacy provide services to the inpatients and outpatients of a hospital. Question 5. Which of the following are the roles of hospital pharmacist? Option A. Working in a close collaboration with other healthcare professionals to optimize the best outcomes for patients' health. Option B. Involvement with clinical trials. Option C. Compounding medications for individualized dosing or sterile medications. Option D. All of the above options. The correct answer is option D. In a hospital pharmacy, the pharmacist works in a close collaboration with other healthcare professionals to optimize the best outcomes for patients' health. They may also be involved with clinical trials as well as compounding medications for individualized dosing or sterile medications.
Question 6. Which of the following is same as, the hospital pharmacy, except its existence, in a number of settings, including hospitals, nursing homes, and other medical centers? Option A. Clinical pharmacy. Option B. Ambulatory care pharmacy. Option C. Compounding pharmacy. Option D. Regulatory pharmacy. The correct answer is, option A. Clinical pharmacy is same as, the hospital pharmacy, but clinical pharmacy exists in, a number of settings, including hospitals, nursing homes, and other medical centers. Question 7. What is the aim of clinical pharmacy? Option A, to ensure, the optimal use of medications, for the best outcomes, through provision of drug information. Option B, monitoring for drug safety, and efficacy. Option C, both options A, and B. Option D, none of the above options. The correct answer is, option C. The aim of clinical pharmacy, is to ensure, the optimal use of medications, for the best outcomes, through the provision of drug information, and monitoring for drug safety and efficacy. Question 8. Which of the following, is the pharmacy of a particular pharmaceutical industry, that helps in research, testing, analyzing, and development of a new medicine, or a medicinal product, and related supplies? Option A. Hospital pharmacy. Option B. Clinical pharmacy. Option C. Regulatory pharmacy. Option D. Industrial pharmacy. The correct answer is, option D. Industrial pharmacy is the pharmacy of a particular pharmaceutical industry, that helps in research, testing, analyzing, and development of a new medicine, or a medicinal product, and related supplies. Question 9. Which of the following type of pharmacy, helps in preparing a product, or medicine, that is not available in market, in a required strength, or dosage form. Option A, clinical pharmacy. Option B, hospital pharmacy. Option C, compounding pharmacy. Option D, ambulatory care pharmacy. The correct answer is, option C. Compounding pharmacy, helps in preparing a product, or medicine, that is not available in market, in a required strength, or dosage form. Question 10. Which of the following type of pharmacy, can be present in a hospital, clinical, or residential-based setting, depending on the purpose of their formulation? Option A. Hospital pharmacy. Option B. Clinical pharmacy. Option C, home care pharmacy. Option D, compounding pharmacy. The correct answer is, option D. Compounding pharmacy can be present in a hospital, clinical, or residential based setting, depending on, the purpose of their formulation. Question 11. Which of the following statement is true for ambulatory care pharmacy? Option A, the purpose of this pharmacy, is to provide the services to the areas, where there is lack of healthcare system, like rural areas, particularly to geriatric populations. Option B, it is a mobile service, that can meet the needs of the patients. Option C, it helps to reduce the number of hospital visits, when it is difficult for the patients to visit. Option D, all of the above options. The correct answer is, option D. The purpose of ambulatory care pharmacy, is to provide the services to the areas, where there is lack of healthcare system, like rural areas, particularly to geriatric populations. The ambulatory care pharmacy, is a mobile service, that can meet the needs of the patients, and help to reduce, their number of hospital visits, 
when it is difficult for them to visit. Question 12. Which of the following is also known as, the government pharmacy? Option A, industrial pharmacy. Option B, regulatory pharmacy. Option C, ambulatory pharmacy. Option D, hospital pharmacy. The correct answer is, option B. Regulatory pharmacy is also known as, the government pharmacy, or a governing body, that helps in creating the rules, and regulations for the safe, and effective use of medicine. Question 13. Which of the following statement, is true for regulatory pharmacy? Option A, it is also known as the government pharmacy, Option B, it is a governing body, that helps in creating the rules, and regulations, for the safe, and effective use of medicine, Option C, Food and Drug Administration, that is FDA, in USA, is the example of a regulatory pharmacy, Option D, all of the above options. The correct answer is, Option D. Regulatory pharmacy is also known as the government pharmacy. It is a governing body, that helps in creating the rules and regulations for the safe and effective use of medicine. Food and Drug Administration, that is FDA, in USA, is the example of a regulatory pharmacy. Question 14. Which of the following is an example of regulatory pharmacy? Option A, International Organization of Standardization or, ISO. Option B, World Health Organization or, WHO. Option C, Food and Drug Administration or, FDA. Option D, all of the above options. The correct answer is, Option C. Food and Drug Administration, that is FDA, in USA, is the example of a regulatory pharmacy. Question 15. FDA, stands for which of the following? Option A, Food and Drug Association. Option B, Food and Drug Administration. Option C, Food and Drug Authorization. Option D, Federation of Drug and Administration. The correct answer is, Option B. FDA stands for, Food and Drug Administration. Question 16. Which of the following, is also referred to as, Infusion Pharmacy? Option A, Hospital Pharmacy. Option B, Clinical Pharmacy. Option C, Home Care Pharmacy. Option D, Compounding Pharmacy. The correct answer is, Option C. Home care pharmacy is also, sometimes referred to as, infusion pharmacy, as only injectable medications are dispensed, and not medication administered, in other forms, such as oral or topical. Question 17. Which of the following statement, is true for home care pharmacy? Option A, it primarily involves, the preparation and delivery of injectables, to critically ill patients, in the home environment. Option B, it is also sometimes referred to as, infusion pharmacy. Option C, it may major in, one or the other area of illness. Option D, all of the above options. The correct answer is, option D. Home care pharmacy primarily involves, the preparation and delivery of injectables, to critically ill patients, in the home environment. It is also sometimes referred to as, infusion pharmacy, as only injectable medications are dispensed, and not medication administered in other forms such as oral or topical. It may major in one, or the other area of illness, such as infusions for nutritional support, chemotherapy, mental illness, or oncology. Thank you.